Go with that guy, that's a better answer. Because you know how easy means you're probably doing it wrong. Yeah. Yep. Alright, next topic now. Equilibrium of coplanar forces. No. Got that? Did you write the title down? <laughs> it has another name, uh, equilibrium of coplane of forces, or well, we'll see the other name in a moment. So these lessons aren't so big because the questions are so big. It takes uh, it's the same idea, but it's the questions that take time to do. Um, so this is a very special type of system in physics. It's special because three forces are acting on the system. Hey, Donald, I think you've gone to the wrong room. Yes. Yeah. Possibly downstairs. Yes. No, I want to give this. I had a problem getting to before I won this morning, so I took your keys. No, you couldn't have because I have mine. No, that's fine. But, it's, it, but you will need this because mine doesn't work in before I won. And I want to get You swapped my key fob. I did. For one that doesn't work. <laughs> yes, on before I won, but now I have it back. <laughs> so I have to give you a new one back. Good. I meant to catch up with you earlier on. Oh, what you mean is you were meant to swap it back without me noticing. Well, maybe. What do you think, guys? <laughs> It'd be much easier. Yes. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I don't think you're stuck in the new No, no. no. Mine doesn't work in before. Oh, yes. okay. It did actually work. It just required three or four goals. Did it? Yes. It didn't work the first three times. Okay. It works in all of them except A for one. So A for one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but I know you're an evil one tomorrow, so it's not Okay. All right. All right. Thank See you. you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that too. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so this one is special because it has three forces <laughs> and it's an equilibrium. So it might seem like also special about three forces. You have a system and there's three forces acting on it. I'll call it F1, F2, and uh, what? What? Oh. Right, whatever. F1, F2, and then we'll say here F3. Now you might. Oh, no, that's ugly. That's sorry. Um, yeah, it needs to be one down if it's in equilibrium, right? Whatever. Here, F3. So we have three forces on this system, and it's in equilibrium, which means it's not moving up, it's not moving down, it's not moving left or right, or it's not rotating. It's in equilibrium. It's balanced. There's a very interesting theorem called the three force theorem. Indeed. And what this theorem says, when you have three forces and the system is in equilibrium, then the line of action for the three forces meet at the same point. And I can, you can kind of see that in the picture a bit more here. There are three forces here. This one is the weight. This one is the reaction from the ground, and this one is the reaction from the wall. Now, before Lee says anything, mm -hmm. why is this one horizontal and not at an angle? And the reason is, in this pic in, in these problems, it's usual to say the wall is smooth, no friction. That if you put your hand on the wall, it slides down. There's no friction force up. And why is this one at an angle, do you think? <coughs> because there is a reaction and there's a friction force as well. Friction meaning um, if you try to push, the ground pushes back. Yes? So you have this force, this force, and this force, three forces, and you see they all meet 
at one point. Now that's a very, very simple result and a simple idea, but it's very, very useful for when you have problems with three forces on them. I often call these problems tree force problems because there's tree forces. See where I'm going with this? Um, I think this is a good example to draw of the tree force theorem. <coughs> so could you try and draw this and make sure you make it clear that they meet at one point. Question? Okay. You're cold? Did you have your coat on? Did you have breakfast? Yeah. Lunch? Yeah. Probably the wind's on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, the door's not helping because the air is blowing through. Okay, thank you. No problem. Golf. I won't be there this whatever Friday. I have gone to it before. It's really good in Dundrum. I've done it four times now. It's fun. Okay, I have a question. Those four times you went, was it with the college? No. <coughs> yeah, I have to pay with my own money. And not only that, look at this now, Mr. Wise Guy. I've got, I have, look at this. I have a card stamped. <laughs> I've got four more stamps and then I get a free game. <laughs> Alright, so this is proof. <laughs> True. That's so actually that's that's a good great. idea. Yeah. Right. No. Who can I trust with my valuable card <laughs> with two stamps on it? The question is who's going? But that's true. How many of you are going? Is there at least four of you going? Could I get four more stamps <laughs> off anyone? <laughs> is anyone here going? I know somebody must be going, please. No. <laughs> Who are you're not going? We just used to not go. <laughs> <laughs> Omar? <laughs> but if you go, they'll go. I won't. I promise you, if you're going, they'll follow you. You be the leader. Exactly. <laughs> Lee, are you going? Talk to business students. Maybe they'll help me. Right, did you draw this? Oh, come on, come on. Chop, chop. Don't worry, Lee. I'll do an example where we explain it. Can I go on? Yeah. No. Oh, come on, come on. No, I'm sorry. I don't think I can wait. You'll have to watch the video or something. Okay. Right, so, the tree force theorem says when tree forces act in the same plane on a mass in equilibrium, then all the lines of action meet at one common point. Now, you don't have to write that down if you've drawn some kind of picture to help remind you of this fact. But you should write down the name at least, Tree Force Theorem. Can I rewrite the number? Yes. <laughs> okay. So next now, um, this is the Tree Force Theorem. Uh, let's apply it to some example, I think. You're writing the definition down? Okay. 
what does it benefit us that we know that the their line of action needs? If you wait until I do an example, you will see the benefit. Patience is a virtue. Okay? Right, continue. I won't do the proof with you, because right now I don't remember what the proof is. Um, and while there's more than three forces, we won't look at that. <coughs> so, um, here is what am I going to do. Yeah, I'll just do the one example, and then you have your questions here. So, try again, try to draw this, and then I'll do it. Try to draw this. Oh, like is it raining? Is, oh. is this like the heavy rain, or does it get worse? Gets worse. Yeah, yeah. This isn't like this wouldn't cause necessarily flooding. You know, it's just. Yeah, oh, yeah. this would. It's well, it's well, flooding Cork. I saw the news today. Cork gets a lot more rain. Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the west coast gets a lot more rain. This would cost like. Yeah, it's got some. Huh? In, in Dubai, probably. I know, because like, Dubai, Dubai's water. system is not built to handle this. Because yeah. yeah. I remember one of the teachers saying she was in an apartment, and um, on the balcony there was like a little drain. Yeah. You know what I mean? A drain. But actually, uh, it turned out to be just a fake drain for <laughs> style, you know? Yeah. Uh, so, what happened one day was it actually rained really heavy and it built up on the balcony because there was no actual yeah. drain and then it came into the yes. apartment. Yes. Yeah, the base not that bad. Well, she was saying to the bad thing. Yes. <laughs> True. Uh, but no, the problem is on the street. Like, the cars yeah. would be like half. Yeah. Like, yeah. from yeah. this type of thing, the whole country would be flooded. You didn't do it? Did John not affect you? Did John not have to do it? Like, we just got this from we Enjoy the rain. Room. We got one bad one. But then in the way, it's like it would be raining and hot. <laughs> 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 oh, it's only going to be raining and cold. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> raining and cold, that's all you get here. Guys, can I see your picture? Did you manage to draw it? Could you figure it out? Correct. Don't show them. No, don't show them. Did you draw it? Ah, oh, come on, your English is good. <coughs> Don't annoy me. You can draw this. Come on. Did you draw it? Okay, okay. Up the front here, did you manage to get something drawn? Yep. Fulong drew it perfectly. Yeah. Yes, you are good at it. You're better than these guys. <laughs> Come on, have you drawn it? Is the one horizontal? I'm not telling you anything. I, she didn't need me to tell her anything. Uh, how is the wall horizontal? Yeah. Can a wall be horizontal? Well, I mean like uh, if it's on the ceiling. Yeah. Oh. Did I say anything about a ceiling here? But the thing is... No, no. A ceiling can stay... What? I think it is just less logical. You need to imagine. Imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Open your mind. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'll help you. <laughs> it's very similar to the cable and the plug. Did you draw it? Yeah. Show me your picture <laughs> before you. This is the wall. And that's the wall. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Yeah. yeah. All right. We have three people who've drawn correctly. Come on. What the heck, dude? Did you draw it? Yes. Show me what you drew. Show me. Correct. Yes. Yes. I can do no, you can't. Right. What's the um, mass of the ball? 10 kg. 10 kg. And the length of the string? 8 cm. And the radius of the ball? 5 cm. 5. So you have this ball here and a string from here to here attached to the ball. And this is 8 centimeters. And what did we say this was? Um, five? Five radius. Oh yeah, and the mass? Ten kg. Ten kg. Ten kg. And it's a, it's a five centimeter. Five centimeters? Yeah. yeah. Watch this. There's one force here. What force is this one? 
the weight, which is 10 G. There is a second force here, which is the tension, T. And there's one more force, what is it? Reaction with the wall. The reaction with the wall. Four. And again, the wall is smooth. There's no friction on the wall. The wall is only pushing out. It's not helping to support the sphere. How many forces? Three. So they all meet where? Where, where would they all meet? The center of the ball. Has to be here. So, what is the length from here? If I draw this triangle, what is this hypotenuse from here to here? 13. 8 plus 5. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nine, ten, How about this one? Five. Five. From Pythagoras, 12. this must be 12. <laughs> this is <laughs> theta, and theta is tan inverse 12 over 5. Yeah. Tell me what that is, please. Are you sure about the point four? Yep. Yeah. Okay, great. Not doubting you, but you know. <laughs> right. Um, so, this T can be resolved into a horizontal and, and a vertical there. So, I'll just draw that again over here. We have the T, <coughs> and this one, and this one here. This is T cos theta, and this one here is T sine theta. This is the one we're interested in, because what must this equal? 10 G. Why? Because they're opposite. Yeah, and what else? Because it's not <laughs> moving, it's equilibrium. Yeah. And also, not that it's necessary, but the horizontal here would equal the OR, because the, they have to be balanced as well. So we can say T sine 67.4 must equal 10G. Please give me the T now. Is that what I was looking for? Yeah. Hundred and six point six. Point six? Point three. Hundred and six point six. hundred and six newtons. Now I don't ask for it, but it's easy to get. What's the OR here? That would be T this OR would equal the T cos theta. The OR here would equal the T cos. Uh, that's T cos. T 67.4, we know the T and the cos, so what's that please? 41. 41 newtons. I mean, I the no, we don't. I said we don't need to, but let's calculate it for fun. Yay. <laughs> this is what we had to do, have to do this, and we did this, this one for fun. Okay. Uh, Go back to yeah. So where did the numbers come from? Mm. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. So the thirteen was the eight plus the five, and then the five is the five here. So from Pythagoras we got the twelve. Okay. <coughs> so this is the benefit of the three force theorem. We can know for certainty that the T must pass through the center and this allows us to find the angle something we would not know without the tree force theorem mm -hmm. um, okay please write this one down you don't always get this in the exam but once or twice recently I've seen a question that has three forces in it Wait, can you listen Listen, before you write this down, this is a useful exam tip. In the exam, when, when a teacher prefaces a sentence with listen carefully, this is a crucial exam tip. That means you should listen carefully because you're about to hear an important exam tip. So, these questions in the exam don't come up often, but sometimes you get problems with three forces. And you can do them this way. However, whoever writes the exam does not realize 
you can do the problems this way. And instead, they do it the old way of um, calculating the turning forces and saying up equals down, left equals right, clockwise equals anti-clockwise. They make three equations and then they solve the three equations. I think you can agree that that sounds much longer than this approach. That's good news for you because it means the person who writes the exams gives too many marks for these problems because they don't realize that it can be done this way. So usually in the exam a question with three forces is over marked. You have more marks in it than the work you have to do. It frustrates me so much when students don't realize the question has only three forces in it and they don't do it this way and they do it the other way, the way we were doing it in the last class with the turning force. They just waste time. They had a perfect chance to get lots of marks in a short amount of time and they blew it. Okay? So please don't do this. Before you start questions with turning forces, count how many forces there are. If it's three, happy days. Okay. All right. Now continue to write this down. Maybe you can show us an example of one of the questions we did later. Oh yeah. Like how would you do it um, yeah, the other way? Yeah, of course. Yeah, one yeah. Of the questions that we already did. If it had three forces. I don't think the ones we have previously work with three forces because there's no. You use three forces when the angle is unknown. But the pro previous problems, everything has been that sort of horizontal or vertical. Um, there's no. Yeah, I should say this the three force is useful for finding missing angles. This is, the, <coughs> this is the key usefulness of it. In the previous section, there was no missing angles. In fact, there wasn't any angles. But what I can do is uh, maybe in the next class, I can do this question again but not using the tree force theorem and you can see how much longer it is. So what they do, like they don't do Pythagoras? Uh, no, they still might have to do Pythagoras but it ends up being a bit longer because they end up forming three equations. You know, three equations for what? Then? The system. The left mm -hmm. equals the right. Right. The up equals the down. Mm -hmm. The clockwise equals the anti-clockwise. Yes, we do that. But to find the three forces. Yeah. We just said the up Thank equals the down, yeah. and the left equals the right. Yeah. But we didn't say anything about the turning force, and that's the hard one to do because you have to work out distances. Mm. It's very easy to say up equals down, left equals right. It's the turning one that's a bit of pain. So we don't have to find the turning force? No, we can do this without finding the turning force. Like we won't get out by the turning force. Oh, I know what you mean. Could they force you to do it this way? Unlikely. I've not seen it. It'd be a very awkward way to phrase the question. Wait, 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 wait. Did you write this down? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, this is the uh, homework here. Um, tomorrow we have class, yeah? Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. I'll collect the homework off you tomorrow. Please have it ready for me to collect with your name on the top. If it's no, the one I gave you. Yeah, last, week. last week. Please make sure your name's on it. If you're giving me paper, please make sure the paper is stapled. Because I promise you, I will lose <coughs> it if it's not. That is a promise. That's fine. Wait, but you don't need the notebook for class, do you? No, no, no. Okay, well then that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, get out.